Have you ever got stuck into a design and could not continue because the initial idea did not match your stock images? This happened to me too and today I'm going to tell you how I managed to move on. I worked on this artwork for hours, then I deleted it and started again. And when I was completely stuck and I could not move on with my original idea, I stopped. I just went outside and danced because I don't know if you know this, but dancing is my main job. Then I went back and started to browse through DeviantArt, Pinterest, Instagram and ArtStation. Those are the main websites to go when I'm stuck. And after a while it happened, I just knew what I have to do. Just by looking at other people's work and by having a clear mind. After I added the sky, the mountains and the cliff in front and also the left tree, I wanted to have like an evil eagle attacking a knight and I tried to use this knight. But the problem is that even if our evil eagle was attacking our knight, our poor knight was acting like he didn't care. Like he just don't care. So for me that was a huge problem. So in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how I fix that problem by creating another knight by starting from uh, this uh, knight. So let's go! I started with this picture that I found on DeviantArt. So what's the first step? It's to select the knight. So after I selected the knight, I decided that all those things that he, he had, those patches and drawings and uh, stuff like that should be gone. I took the clone stamp tool and try to mask and mask and after one hour I said okay this is not working so I deleted it I had to go over my pride and to use the latest and baddest Photoshop generative fill even if I'm not a big fan so for this because it took such a long time I decided to use that generative fill so I took the lasso tool selected the areas that I wanted to remove like uh, this area for example here on his back and also uh, this part and let's not forget about the other parts. After selecting all the areas I just press generative fill and then generate. And just like that by miracle Photoshop saved hours of work and hard work to remove those uh, things. Another thing that uh, really annoyed me was the horse tail. So uh, because in the original picture the horse tail was like that, I had hard time to select that horse tail. I fixed this by using uh, generative fill in this way. First of all, I added a 50% gray background uh, that I always used uh, to protect my eyes. Then I selected the area that I wanted to, to fix, like uh, this area. And on the generative fill, I just uh, write horse tail. So after a few tries, Let's uh, see if we can use this one. So remember that because you have a background, it doesn't matter color, I just use this 50% gray. Let's uncheck it. You'll see that uh, Photoshop generated uh, this color also on uh, that uh, part. If you want to see the full process of this artwork, I just posted the complete tutorial on my Patreon page. There I explain step by step everything that I did to create this artwork. Joining my Patreon will give you access to a lot of tips and tricks, videos, free stuff and also the most important thing, you receive detailed feedback from me by completing the monthly assignments. So it's really easy, just double click on it, the mask, double click on the mask and here we are going to use uh, the refine edge brush. So just paint and you will remove that gray area. And now you see that this is transparent and we can use it uh, really well like that. Otherwise I will get stuck with the one that I had and I really didn't like it. Now is the moment to fix this uh, part that annoyed me from the start which is his head that is looking on the left side and also this uh, right arm that uh, currently it's uh, not doing anything that will help us to fight that eagle. So, uh, so I just uh, removed those areas uh, that uh, annoyed me and also I removed the sword by doing that uh, generative fill again and uh, now um, we need to find another photo with another knight to uh, try to match uh, this position 
and also we will need to fix this part of the horse head that uh, is now missing because we removed that area that was covering the horse head after hours of searching i found this uh, photo so i imported uh, that photo added a mask and uh, mask the areas that i didn't want and place uh, him on top of uh, the other knight and now I need to fix the head part for that I found uh, this photo and uh, I really love it because he was looking up I uh, selected him so I just used the head from uh, this uh, photo and uh, I duplicate it and use it again to make it uh, bigger and then with generative fill I remove uh, everything that uh, was over there on the back I change also the colors on the original photo to match uh, his colors so for the horse now uh, because this part is missing take the clone stamp tool select step by step some parts of the horse skin and just uh, use that to fill uh, those parts of the horse head that uh, were missing so i just copy this uh, ear i press ctrl t and flip it horizontally and drag it to the other side and press again ctrl t and try to shrink it a bit because it was on the other side and it shouldn't have the same size as the one on the right because the the horse is uh, a bit uh, diagonal and it should be uh, smaller and i change its uh, colors again by using a hue and saturation and after i imported the knight let me show you the differences i think he is more suitable <laughs> for what i wanted let me know in the comments what did you do when you had an art block and also if you found this video useful subscribe to my channel and if you want to see the complete tutorial for this artwork join my patreon.